report from the Hill Times shows that the Environment Ministry is the most lobbied ministry in all of Ottawa. The word climate showed up in 104 communications in September. And Environment Minister Catherine McKenna herself was the most lobbied minister, showing up in 235 communications reports. In fact, the Environment Ministry is so pestered, or maybe entertained, I'm not sure which one it is, by lobbyists that the number of recorded instances of lobbyists wanting something from the federal ministry is up 5,000% from the same month back in 2014. Remember back then, when the government of the day cared about job creation and keeping taxes low? So who's lobbying McKenna? Well, environmental groups like the Suzuki Foundation and EcoJustice, but big businesses are too. These companies are lobbying the environment minister because they want something. And it's not just access to Tidewater for projects they build fully with private money, like what those pipeline companies were asking for when Stephen Harper was the boss of it all. No, these companies want access to a slush fund of taxpayer money that will be generated by the Trudeau Liberals' carbon tax for projects that will be classified as green or in the name of energy efficiency and sustainability, which are terms that are just so vague they could really mean almost anything. Why do you think companies like Suncor and TELUS advocated for a carbon tax? Well, it's because they'll see huge government handouts from it. And you and I, well, we're going to pay for it all. But what about us? The normal people who won't get big government subsidies to buy our support of a carbon tax. What do we really think about climate change? Is it really this much of a worry for us that we should see such a huge lobbying increase in two years? Well, in a practical sense, normal people just don't fear climate change. How do I know? Well, I know by a couple different ways. A Pew Research poll from late last fall shows that countries who use more CO2 actually care the least about climate change. People in Canada, Australia, America, and Russia are the least concerned about climate change. Only 15% of people in China and only 30% of Americans actually think climate change will do anything to harm them at all. And that's less than the global average of 4 in 10 people who think that climate change poses some real physical threat to them. The data shows the world just isn't scared of climate change, even if Catherine McKenna is. But I have some more proof, practical proof. If you and I actually feared climate change in a way that required a 5,000% increase in lobbying of the federal minister, you and I might change our habits. But we don't and we haven't. In fact, according to the car buying platform Edmunds, 22% of people who bought a hybrid or electric vehicle have completely thrown in the towel and opted for a bigger, more reliable, more practical gas or diesel powered SUV. These are people who tried in good faith to buy into the buzz and the good feelings and that smug sense of self-righteousness about driving an electric or hybrid vehicle. They tried and then they decided it was stupid. Less than half, 45% of people who ever bought one of these trendy, highly subsidized hybrid vehicles are bothering to rebuy them at all. But what about the Liberals? Well, they just don't care what the middle class thinks is a priority. They've swung the door open to their friends and their lobbyists to set the agenda when the middle class in North America just doesn't think climate change will harm them at all. But McKenna, she doesn't care what we think. She spends her days in Ottawa being lobbied by big business who want a chunk of our money. Now, I know our concern about climate change hasn't increased 5,000% since 2014, but you know what has? The number of big businesses looking to ride that carbon tax gravy train sure has. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreid. If you want to see me, go to Marrakesh, Morocco and ask Catherine McKenna some hard questions about exactly who has been lobbying her. Go to LetUsReport.com and sign our petition.